Have you ever watched a classic Hollywood movie and found yourself captivated by the charm and talent of a particular actor? Perhaps you can recall a scene or moment from one of their films that has left a lasting impact on you. For many, that actor was June Haver. When was the first time you recognized this actor? June Haver, with her timeless beauty and remarkable acting abilities, became a household name in Hollywood's golden era. Her career, spanning from the 1940s to the 1950s, left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Did you meet her in person, or did one of her movies touch your heart in a special way? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. June Haver's career and her influence on the world of entertainment are rich with fascinating details. Let's delve into some random facts about this iconic actress and celebrate the magic she brought to the movies. June Haver, a notable actress from the mid-20th century, is perhaps best known for her role in the entertainment industry. However, a lesser known aspect of her life is her commitment to family. She and her husband, Fred McMurray, adopted twin daughters named Catherine and Lori, demonstrating a strong sense of familial dedication. This heartwarming gesture added depth to her life beyond the spotlight. In addition to her acting career, June Haver's personal life has its share of interesting stories. Her first marriage to trumpeter Jimmy Zito, whom she met during her teenage years while singing for Ted Fiorito's band, was brief, lasting only from 1947 to 1948. Subsequently, she was engaged to a dentist, John Duzik. Tragically, Duzik passed away after routine surgery, marking a poignant chapter in her personal history. Moreover, June Haver's compassion extended beyond her immediate family. In 1949, she took a remarkable step by building an apartment house in Westwood, California. This decision was motivated by her sister's inability to secure an apartment due to having a child and a puppy. Haver's unique approach included fenced grounds for the children's safety and miniature hangers in the closets for the youngsters' clothes. Notably, she refused to rent to anyone without children, showing her dedication to family values. In conclusion, June Haver's life was not only about her acting career, but also about the strong bonds she formed with her family and her desire to help others in need. Her adoption of twin daughters and her commitment to family values shine a light on a different aspect of this talented actress life. June Haver, a talented actress and musician, had a remarkable journey in the entertainment world. While she didn't have a long-running series career, she did make a notable appearance in the Lucy Daisy Comedy Hour in 1957, playing herself. Her career took an unexpected turn when she was engaged to studio dentist John Duzik, who tragically passed away due to surgery complications in February 1953. Following his death, Haver decided to join a convent in Xavier, Kansas, with the intention of becoming a nun. She found happiness there until a severe illness forced her to return to California in September 1953. Although she had initially planned to return to the convent after her recovery, she never did. June Haver's musical talent was evident from a young age. She made her debut as a pianist with the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra at the tender age of seven. By the time she was 11, she was already making appearances on local radio, showcasing her skills not only as a musician, but also as a writer and MC. These aspects of June Haver's life provide a glimpse into her unique journey, marked by both her artistic talents and her personal choices. June Haver, known as the Pocket Grable in her heyday, had a remarkable career in Hollywood. She was earning $3,500 a week at 20th Century Fox by the age of 20. But in an unexpected turn of events, she left her thriving acting career behind and became a novice nun in the Sisters of Charity Convent. Haver's decision to trade the glitz and glamour of Hollywood for a life of devotion was a surprising one. Her life took a different course, which was as compelling as her time on the silver screen. Notably, she resided at 485 Havern Drive in Brentwood Heights until her passing. This house was once the home of Fred McMurray, who had lived there with his first wife. The house, as of December 2021, remained largely unchanged on the outside, providing a glimpse into the history of this iconic actress. While her Hollywood career was short-lived, her choice to embrace a life of faith added an intriguing layer to her story. June Haver's journey from a rising star to a woman of faith is a unique and fascinating chapter in the history of Hollywood.
June Haver, whose stepfather's name was Haver, was a notable figure in the world of entertainment. She is survived by her adopted daughters, Kate and Lori McMurray, as well as a stepson, Robert McMurray, a stepdaughter, Susan Poole, seven grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. While not much is widely known about her personal life, an interesting tidbit emerges from an interview she gave for a book about the architect of her Havern home. During the interview, she confirmed the existence of secret passages in the house, but didn't delve into the details. This revelation adds a touch of mystery to her life, suggesting there may have been more to her story than met the eye. In conclusion, June Haver, known for her association with the Mac Murray family, left behind a legacy that extended beyond the silver screen and the secret passages in her Havern home provide a glimpse into the enigmatic aspects of her life. June Haver, a notable figure in the entertainment industry, had a fascinating background. Her mother, Marie Stovner, was a former actress, which likely influenced June's career choice. In 1942, she appeared in the Beverly Hills High School production of Ever Since Eve, which might have been the starting point for her acting career. Moreover, June and her husband were staunch Republicans and personal friends of Ronald Reagan. This political connection added another layer to her public image. These facts provide a glimpse into June Haver's life, showcasing her early experiences in acting and her connection to the world of politics. It's interesting to see how her family background and personal relationships played a role in her life and career. June Haver, whose surname is pronounced Haver, not Haver, was a notable figure in the entertainment industry. She had a remarkable connection to the legendary actor John Wayne, as it was he who introduced June and her husband, Fred McMurray. June Haver's life also included a significant real estate transaction in 1996. She sold her 1,750-acre Healdsburg Ranch, which she owned with her late husband, Fred McMurray, to the Gallo family. She continued to maintain a home in Brentwood, where she eventually passed away in 2005. This information offers a glimpse into June Haver's personal and professional life, including her unique connection to John Wayne and the substantial real estate deal she made in 1996. These details provide a starting point for exploring the life and career of June Haver, a talented actress and a remarkable individual in the entertainment world. As we bid adieu to our exploration of the remarkable June Haver and her enduring contributions to the world of entertainment, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this talented actress and singer. June's on-screen charisma and undeniable talent have left an indelible mark on the hearts of countless individuals. Perhaps you have a favorite memory of her captivating performances that lingers in your mind. Maybe it's the way she effortlessly brought characters to life the emotion she conveyed through her melodious voice, or the sheer elegance with which she graced the silver screen. As we celebrate June Haver's legacy, we encourage you to share your cherished thoughts, memories, or insights about her performances. Your unique perspective adds depth to our collective appreciation of this iconic figure, and your words can help keep her memory alive. June Haver's impact on entertainment is immeasurable, and her influence continues to resonate in the hearts of fans worldwide. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to touch the souls of her audience will forever be etched in the annals of cinematic history. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to you for taking the time to join us in celebrating the life and career of June Haver. Your interest and engagement contribute to the enduring legacy of this exceptional talent. Thank you for your time and let's continue to honor the remarkable June Haver in our own special ways.